Namaste, welcome back to my channel. This is Anvi Prabhu with you. So Donald Trump has been voted in as the 47th president of the United States of America and he has won by a landslide, gaining victory in almost all of the swing states and I think he's gotten 277 seats out of the 270 seats that are required to win while Harris was left with 224. Now, if you need literally like one reason to be glad why the Democratic Party or rather Kamala Harris did not win is the fact that she has refused to appear after the race has ended to give a message to her party people, to speak to her supporters. Nil. She's just literally vanished into thin air. Like, I don't know what kind of a message that gives to people. I don't think it's very gracious and it shows absolutely no sense of sportsmanship, does it? Anyway, coming back to Donald Trump's win. What this win shows is that people all over the world are really, really tired of the extreme identity politics of the left. What this win shows is that it does not matter whether you're black or white, what race you are, what gender you are, as long as you have merit and you prove it. What this win shows is that people, or at least the majority of the people in the society, really do not care about your identity as long as, as I said, you prove your merit. And you really cannot win in life, let alone win a presidential election, based on the mere fact of either being a woman or being a black person. What this one shows is that it is okay and sensible to be worried about your country's borders, about children's and women's safety, and about the economic benefits of life and work, which obviously every citizen deserves. What this one shows is that simply calling somebody as Hitler or as a fascist, without truly understanding the grave meaning of those words, and just throwing that word around willy-nilly to apply to anybody who is like, you know, slightly away from the politics that you believe in is not going to work. What this one shows is that more than anything, people are really thirsty for common sense and not just for word salads. What this one shows is that if you have no talking points, apart from just bringing down your opponent and using ridiculous names, then people aren't going to vote for you. What this one shows is that people don't want wars in the world. What this one shows is that the war of narratives has become really tiresome. Substance matters, track records matter, how you treat other people, what you speak, how you speak, all of that matters. And at the end of the day, people are going to vote for that candidate who promises a better quality of life. Because honestly, that is all that people really want. Thank you very much. Wow. Well, I want to thank you all very much. This is great. These are our friends. We have thousands of friends in this incredible movement. This was a movement like nobody's ever seen before. And Frankly, this was, I believe, the greatest political movement of all time. There's never been anything like this in this country and maybe beyond. And now it's going to reach a new level of importance because we're going to help our country heal. We're going to help our country heal. We have a country that needs help and it needs help very badly. We're going to fix our borders. We're going to fix everything about our country. And we made history for a reason tonight, and the reason is going to be just that. We overcame obstacles that nobody thought possible, and it is now clear that we've achieved the most incredible political thing. Look what happened. Is this crazy? But it's a political victory that our country has never seen before, nothing like this. I want to thank the American people for the extraordinary honor of being elected your 47th president and your 45th president. And every citizen, I will fight for you, for your family and your future. Every single day, I will be fighting for you. And with every breath in my body. I will not rest until we have delivered the strong, safe, and prosperous America that our children deserve and that you deserve. This will truly be the golden age of America. That's what we have to have. 
Personally, what I'm looking forward to in the Trump presidency is first and foremost an end to all the wars in the world. And honestly, I also feel a huge sense of relief uh, and gratefulness that there is still space for dialogue in our society. And it's not just me, but a lot of people are really, really tired of the rampant cancel culture of the left and their compulsion to adhere to their set of rules and regulations and standards if you want to be considered even normal and sane. I think this shift in the dialogue in society is what I'm really looking forward to. It would be so good to see. It'll be like literally like a breath of fresh air to see more dialogue happening in our societies and uh, hopefully more voices will be heard and not everybody will be shut down with labels of being, you know, fascist or a Nazi supporter or whatever you may. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. As usual, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also press the notification icon so that you don't miss out on any of my future episodes. Do like and share the video and don't forget to join the conversation in the comments below. Until next time, take care.